Hi, this is Kelly from Petika Kelly and Play, Learn, Talk, and today's tutorial is going to show you how to layer clip art pieces to make it appear as if something has disappeared, okay? So in this particular page, I have a little squirrel and I have three pumpkins that I've duplicated, and the squirrel is trying to get inside the hole in the tree, but it's very high, so I'm going to have these pumpkins layered in front of the tree so that I can use them as a staircase for the squirrel to get in and go inside of the tree, okay? So I'm gonna have the squirrel come over and pick out this pumpkin. We're gonna move it over, see how it stays in front of the tree. And then let's pick out this pumpkin. And you can put it next to it or you can put it on top of it. And we'll come over and pick this one and let's go ahead and put that on top there. So now our squirrel, as we're dragging him over, can go up, 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 and then go into the hole and disappear. Okay, so let's go do that together. Here is our working page right here. Okay, so we're gonna duplicate it. And I'm just gonna get rid of all of the materials so that we can import them together. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our tree, which is our largest image. We want the one with the hole. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right there. Oops. Okay, we're gonna put it right here and make it a little bigger. I don't know why it was sizing it down it like that. Okay, and we're, we're gonna make it draggable. These all need to be draggable. And we're gonna duplicate it because we actually want to create a second layer on top so that the squirrel can go in between or behind both of them, okay? So we're gonna put that on top. It's already draggable. Now let's go ahead and grab our other images. We need some pumpkins. Okay, so we're gonna size them down and we're also going to make these draggable and we're going to duplicate them. Okay, so we'll put that one here and we'll duplicate this one and put it here and then let's go ahead and grab our little squirrel. So here is our squirrel. We're also going to make the squirrel draggable. Okay, and we're going to size the squirrel down. So now let's think about how we want the layering to be. We want this to be at the very, very Front. Actually, we don't want it at the very front. We want these at the very front. Okay, so I'm going to bring this tree forward first, okay, to the front, and then I'm going to, oops, let's see, move this one over so it doesn't overlap. Um, okay, so we're going to bring this one forward, and let's see if that worked. So we're going to test if this is going to go in front or fall behind. It fell behind, so Let's actually, uh, let's see, is the order? We're gonna make this forward, but we're gonna bring this to the front and this one to the front. That should fix the, the issue of front. And then this one is gonna go to the very rear. Okay, so let's go preview it. So this should be in the front. We're gonna put this here to test it out. That looks good. That looks good. And that can go on top and fall behind. We did it, okay. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below and I would be happy to help you. And please, as always, share this video if um, you found it helpful and just share it with anyone else who would also find it helpful. All right. Thanks so much.